and she loves Disney as much as I do. I'm really excited now. I'm going to start making the Peruvian chicken what I'm making for dinner. Looks like this. Is that the best jar for those? No, I don't think it is. Does this look nice to you? Though? Yeah, it does look nice. It nice as well. Thank you. Anyway, let's go and grow an adult toy. Good morning and welcome back to a new vlog. It's Saturday. It's a kit packing weekend, so it's a busy one, but we're gonna make it as cozy as possible. It's pouring with rain, it's got the coffee on. I'm gonna go and choose a candle or a wax melt. Both gonna be working on the lounge. Aid's still trying to get through my accounts. I'll be up at the table packing. So it's gonna be really cozy. I'm also trying a new recipe. Um, Peruvian chicken, that's what we're having tonight. So we'll be making that together. A couple of little home bits I want to do. Um, really need to start on like more decluttering as well. So I might do like one of the drawers or something in the kitchen. And I've just had a delivery and I know it's from my friend Amory in the States. So I'm just opening that. My desk is an absolute tip, but we're gonna ignore that today. I'm in the middle of quite a few projects at the moment. Um, but I need to focus on kit packing today. So I think I might actually just leave it this weekend and do a proper tidy up on Monday and enjoy it um, when I've got the time to do it properly. So I'm just oh, trying to open this box. But let me know how you are. How has your week been? Oh, this is so sweet. Amory is, she's one of those, starts off as a customer, become a friend. She's a very active member and lovely, lovely lady in our chat groups. And she lives in California and she loves Disney as much as I do. Some really cute tape. I love that one there, that's really unusual. And she's put, I've left this blank for your journaling. What's in here? Oh, sweet. Oh my goodness. I've just opened this. And it's full of bits and pieces that will be so perfect for my journaling. If you love crafting too, by the way, I have a paper channel for journaling and all that kind of thing. Um, it's only paper. I'll leave the link down below. And there's some more super cute washi tape. Oh, look. It's kind of, see, I could imagine this just hold on the side of my journal just so it opens I like that I haven't done any Disney journaling for a while I think this might be a Christmas card but the envelope is so cute so I'm going to tear it along the top so that I can reuse it it's so sweet um oh that's her lovely homemade Christmas card and I've got this lovely package to open now as well. It's funny because I've actually putting together a package for Anne Marie at the moment. <gasps> Peppermint bark. I love this stuff. And I couldn't get it when we were over last time. It wasn't in the shops yet. Oh, the wash, um, the tissue paper in itself is really nice as well. I'll be using that. Oh, these look like peppermint bark sticks or something like that. Anne Marie, you're so naughty. Oh. This is so nice. Oh, even more peppermint box. And, oh, look. She's made that beautiful tag. That's so lovely. And then there's some more bits and pieces to use in my journals as well. I love all that. Look. That's so cool. Feeling very inspired. But I have to work. And then we've got... Oh, Age, you've got a Christmas present from Anne-Marie. <laughs> just made him jump you know he's got a bad back I just pinched his he was making toast and I pinched his bum and I walked past and he didn't realize I was going past and he's made him jump and it's really hurt his back I'm gonna open mine oh we watched I had the worst nightmares last night we watched what's it called the menu it's a movie on Disney plus not for the faint-hearted I will warn you I had the worst nightmares last night I wanted a really really early start with work today but I was up at quarter to four and you know when you don't want to go back to sleep because you know you're going to slip back into the nightmares again. It was like that. It was horrible. Really horrible. Oh. I won't let Abe see mine just in case they're similar. That's so sweet. Ah. Oh. Thankfully the Christmas boxes still haven't been put up yet. So I will go and add that 
to it. That's lovely. She sent me a lovely Christmas ornament last year as well. I love this so much. I might actually hang that in my studio. I think that will look very nice. There you go. Uh, good morning. Oh, it's very nice. Look, oh, we've got nice. peppermint bark. Ooh, and look at on. these. Okay. I don't know. Like... I wonder if they're like peppermint bark We do eat sticks. them, don't we? I think so. They look like chocolate, don't they? Oh, it looks a bit like icing. But... Yeah, I don't know. I thought it was white chocolate. No, she's oh, made of this. Oh, Merry Christmas, Anne. Oh, I know, it's cute. It's really, it? really lovely. Oh, so nice. Oh, I've got a little job for you today. How are you with knobs? Mickey Mouse shaped ones. We've got, Let's we've have been, a look at them. We've been meaning we bought these Mickey Mouse shaped door knobs, cupboard knobs, and I'd really like them put on the cupboard in the hallway. They look really cute. You've said on the vlog, so I have to do it now, don't you? Yeah. That's why. I might put it so in the like... thumbnail. Ooh. Oh! Oh! It's a Christmas tree ornament. Oh, we got matching! Oh! Yeah. <laughs> nice. like that? And as I was just saying, Aid hasn't put the tree decorations up in the loft yet. So we can put these straight in the box. We can do, yes. No, they're really sweet, actually. You must have had a sixth sense waiting, knowing that something was coming. No, we've explained this already, haven't we? What? We're getting some other stuff down from the loft first. Yeah. For the charity shop. They're not in any way yet, anyone's way at the moment, are they? No. Trying to have a bit of a clear out this year. Yeah, right, go on, let's go oh, and have really a sweet. coffee. Thank you. And we're going to put. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Anne Marie. Oh, peppermint bark. I know, peppermint bark as well. Oh, it's a dark chocolate one as well. Ooh, that's a little snack ah. this afternoon while we're working. I'm um, intrigued by those as well. I'm, I am. Too. I love that tag. Can I put that in my journal, please? My Christmas journal. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to say something else as well. Coffee's ready. Okay. Oh, we're working. We're going to do a funny actually because um, Amory's from California. We're going to do a California video, a tips video on our Disney channel. We've both been a few times, and none of that information is on our Disney channel, our travel no. channel. So we were going to put together a little like because we're having loads and loads of people message us about California at the moment, wanting mm. sort of advice and things, and loads of people are heading out there. So we thought we'd put together a little tips and tricks video, didn't we? Yeah. Um, so I think That's we're going to have a coffee and put it together. I wanted to show you one other thing as well that arrived yesterday. Oh, okay. For the kit in March, I am working with one of the ladies on my team, Nadine, who is amazing. She is so talented. She has had her jelly plate out and she's been making these mini envelopes for our March kit. Um, the kit is called Hello Gorgeous. It's so cute. Uh, I've got piles and piles of these little mini envelopes that she sent, all hand painted with the jelly plate thing. So cool. So um, I'll leave the link to that below. She also sent me, I haven't opened everything up yet, but she sent me, she just makes such lovely things. And she sent me like these inserts. So I will use these as pockets in my journals. I've used her bits and pieces before. It's like a little pulley bit and she's, and she's put some... Like little Disney bits and pieces. It's so cute. We've got some little glassine envelopes. With actually, I haven't even opened these. I was waiting to open these on here. They are so lovely. Love. I just get excited by a glassine envelope as well. It just excites me so much. What's in here? Oh, <gasps> look at these that she's painted. There's so many little bits and pieces. See now, I'm supposed to be working, and I just want to play at my desk. Loads of hearts. Oh, that's cool. I love that. It's really, really, look, just bits and pieces that you can add as layers in your journals. A little tab top. So, so cool. Really love those. So thank you, Nadine. You are super talented. I will leave a link to Nadine's um, Etsy store down below as well. That's how I found her. Thank you very much. I think we're going to have coffee and then I'm going to marinade the chicken and we're going to kickstart this cosy weekend. I'm trying to use up my sooty old Yankee candles. So we're going to have frosted gingerbread this morning. I've got a coffee wax melt in snow. Oh, let's take the old one out. smell like coffee in the kitchen and then aids just made us coffee in our magic kingdom mugs i'm really excited now i'm going to start making the peruvian chicken what i'm making for dinner um 
It looks like this. I will leave a link down below and we're gonna make up the marinade and we're gonna leave the chicken in the fridge all afternoon and then cook it um, tonight. So it's a nice easy one if, you've, like, if you're really busy, like we're having a really busy work day, it's a nice one that you can just quickly do this marinade, leave it in the fridge and then cook it later. And we're going to do a mix of couscous and quinoa. Aid's not a big fan of giant couscous or any type of couscous. I love it, he loves quinoa, we both love quinoa. So we're gonna have a little bit of a mix as a bit of a compromise. So for the marinade, I have got um, oregano, paprika, cumin, lime juice, garlic, soy sauce, pepper. It says olive oil, but um, we tend to use rapeseed oil, so I've got that. And then we're going to whiz it all down in the blender and pop the chicken, pop it over the chicken and leave. There we go, that's everything in there. And we are just going to whiz that down quickly. Scraping out the marinade, it smells so fragrant. It's absolutely delicious. I can't wait to eat that later. There we go. And I am going to leave that in the fridge for the next few hours. Uh, you may remember if you watched our IKEA video the other day, which I'll link down below, um, I bought some really cute storage jars. And uh, we were in Tiger yesterday and I picked up some bay leaves. Oregano, I've just used the last of that up, and some garlic powder. I really like these. Let me know where you get your herbs and spices from, um, because we get through a lot, and in the little ones it works out quite pricey, but my plan was to pop them in the containers and um, be able to refill them then afterwards. I don't think these are going to be large enough. Is that the best jar for those? No, I don't think it is. The bigger one? I think so. Should you leave them in the packet? I'm going to do the other one though. Oh, it smells so strong. This is uh, alright. Oh, it actually oh. stinks. Do you like that? I love this. I can't smell it too much at the moment. It really, really stinks. I don't want to spill this everywhere because I don't want to have to scoop it up with my hands. Lick it up. No, it smells so strong. Ah! Oh, that stinks. Garlic powder, you stink. Oh. What's that? It really smells. Oh, it's only half full. I've got to do the rest. That surprised me actually. I managed to get that whole packet in here. Aid's just licking up the garlic powder. It stinks. It, it does. It's, it's, does it taste horrible? Yeah, it tastes nice. Really condensed. Yeah, just, no, it doesn't actually. It tastes really nice. Mm. It's like garlic salt almost, kind of. Yeah, thing. and that's that what it's sense. meant to yeah. be. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm just, I've, I'm reusing up a jam jar. And it tastes like it's had some garlic bread. Garlic bread? Mm. What's that make you think of, Peter Kay? Yes. And um, I'm just putting these bay leaves in that's here. Really nice, oh, you can see where your finger was, Aid. So now I've got my oregano my bay leaves and my garlic powder. I've got another one of these jars left, so I think I'm gonna pop my old bay seasoning in here as well. Um, I just think it would look a little bit cuter on the um, shelf. I do quite like the uh, packaging of this though. I do think it's quite sweet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to replace it with this. I also find that these don't seal after a while. They just don't stay closed anymore. So at least this way it will stay sealed. I do have a larger one actually of these that I bought in the States last time, um, but I'm not going to bother opening that. I'll just put this little bit that's left for now and I will need to get some labels as well because obviously I know what everything is, but nobody else does. Not that anybody else uses them, but I still think they should be labeled. So there we go. These look really cute. So this now, instead of having like the larger plastic containers, I've taken out the ranch dressing as well and popped that in the door. So it looks really, really cute. I like reusing the jars as well. And this is where I keep the rest of my herbs and spices. So I have savory all in here. You may have seen this when um, I redid my larder. And then the sweeter spices in here. So I've got like my ginger, I've got cloves, poppy seeds, uh, all spice. So I've got all those ones, ginger, that kind of thing. And then this one is where I've got like my garlic granules, I've got paprika, 
um, chip seasoning, coriander, cumin, all that kind of thing, turmeric. And what I like about having them like this, they don't take as much room in the actual kitchen. I can just slide them in on the shelf here but I carry the basket out when I'm cooking. So if I'm doing a savory dish and I just take it into the kitchen so it's nice and easy. And then on the back of the door, I have then larger seasoning. So I've got like Cajun, um, blackened Cajun. I've got Old Bay seasoning, that large one I was saying about fajita, ranch, and um, shirachas on there as well. So they're quite handy on there. I just have like that little over the door hanger in the larder. So I'd love to hear from you. Where do you buy all your spices and herbs from, your dried herbs, and how do you store yours? We're gonna crack back on with work. I've just found a movie for us to watch, Labor Day. Let me know if you've seen that. If you're a Kate Winslet fan, I highly recommend. It's one of my favorite movies. It's really lovely and always makes me want to make a pie. Aid, you up for Labor Day? Yeah, I've not seen it. I know, Aid hasn't seen it. It was on TV the other day, wasn't it? So we recorded it. But it is a really, really lovely movie. I really recommend it. And it's back to kit packing for me. It's half past one. I haven't actually eaten anything today. And I think Aid's only had a piece of toast. So I'm just fixing us some berry porridge. Just simple um, oats mixed with water. And now I'm just stirring in some frozen berries. Oh, and I did add, um, add a sprinkle of pumpkin pie mix spice there we go and I've just sprinkled a little bit of brown sugar and some honey as well hopefully this will be very yummy a few hours later I have packed 70 kits I think Aid's putting the accounts away for the evening it's about half past five and I'm gonna finish making dinner I'm gonna make this chicken with this green sauce and we're also going to make a Moroccan style couscous to go with it as well the porridge by the way was really really good i just buy the cheapest bag of porridge oats um, i bought these ones from lidl and they've lasted us ages and we buy the wonky frozen fruit from morrison's which again lasts us ages um, it's a really reasonably priced and healthy lunch to do but i liked it with the variation today usually i just pour the pop the fruit on top but it was really good made a really nice change and i find it really filling doing that way i tend not to have breakfast but i will have that sort of part way through and it just keeps me going really nicely i'm making this um moroccan style couscous i'm wanting to whoops um roast off my veg in the oven chopped up my veggies to go in the couscous i've got garlic in there as well i've got a little bit of oil and some salt and i'm going to roast those off you can grill your chicken but as i've got the oven on i'm going to pop this um marinated chicken in the oven anyway so i've just got the one sort of like bit of the oven going on rather than having two and now i'm going to be making the green sauce to go with the chicken i'm varying the recipe slightly i haven't got yogurt so i'm going to use some sour cream Jalapenos, coriander, I haven't got green onions, so we're just adding a regular onion, lime, garlic, salt and pepper, and again, I haven't got olive oil, but I'm going to be drizzling in a little bit of the rapeseed, so just sort of make it up a little bit if you haven't got everything. I'm intrigued to see what this will be like. I've left out the mayo as I've got extra sour cream that needs using, so we will whiz this down. Right, it's just taste testing the sauce to go with the chicken. What do you think? It's got jalapenos in it. Yes. Do you like <laughs> you it? Taste it yeah. It's supposed to be a green sauce, but I've added in a bit too much of the sour cream. But it's really, really delicious, it isn't it? Tastes spiced. Yeah. Do you like it? Then? Yeah. I've got my large couscous. Ah, just spray that water. And then I've also got my raisins in there, turmeric, and a chicken um, stock pot. And I'm going to leave that to absorb. Love that rich golden colour. And halfway through the chicken being cooked, I've turned the pieces of chicken over and just drizzled over the rest of the marinade. Right now, just making the like seasoning bit to go over the couscous. We've got some oil, cinnamon, cumin. I'm adding lemon juice, and I've just added a bit of salt. I used up all the coriander in my green that isn't green sauce. Um, so I'm gonna have to do that with coriander. And this is gonna go over the couscous. So it turns out large couscous is not cooked in the same way as 
regular couscous. I've needed to boil it up. I've added in my quinoa, popped in some peas, and now I'm going to add my roasted veg as well. And I've also got my little mix of oil, spices, and lemon juice. And we're gonna give that a good mix with the oil and the uh, spices. And I'll probably have to season it a bit as well. I love how colorful this dish is. And then we'll add our sauce, which is supposed to be a green sauce. But isn't so green. Hey, do you just want a bit on yours for now? Oh, I'll have a fair amount. It might yeah. be nice to mix in with the couscous. Because you don't like couscous. No. Does this look nice to you then? Yeah, it does look nice. It smells nice as well. Thank you. Keep spending the recipe mint. I'm looking forward to it. That was so tasty, wasn't it? That was really nice, yeah. I think that is completely different to anything we've ever had. That chicken, whatever that was marinated in, was so nice. I think there was the sweetness on the outside of it. Mm. I think cause it had been, I couldn't, I, the couscous took a lot longer because I was doing it wrong. So it stayed in the oven. On... It was still really soft though, the chicken. I know, but I turned the oven off, so it was like just heating through. Yeah, it was so nice. But then mm. also the spiciness of the, uh, what do you call it, the... Green sauce dressing. that wasn't green. <laughs> I didn't but, measure anything out though, so I may have just gone OTT on the jalapenos. It was really good though, wasn't it? Yeah, there was quite a few jalapenos in there, I think. Yeah. So, but you can definitely taste that. Um, it made my nose run when I was <laughs> eating it. But with the couscous and mm. also the bit of quinoa in there as well. You said you really like the couscous? I'm not a huge fan of, I say, normal, regular couscous. I prefer mm. something like quinoa. I love quinoa. Um, but the large couscous was actually okay. It yeah. mixed in with everything. I think having the raisins in as well. Yeah. It was a real mix of flavour. I think there was the sweet, the spicy. So, no, I loved it. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah. I really fancy something sweet, so I think we're going to try these mm. from Anne-Marie. We don't actually know what they are. Is it like a pretzel stick? Very nice. Mmm. <laughs> Probably similar to, like, what, like yoghurt coated? Mmm. No. No, but over here we get the yoghurt, you know, the, the coated raisins and that. Okay, it's, no, it's, um... Pretzel covered in white chocolate mm. yeah, white and chocolate. candy cane. Sorry, there's it's me saying really yogurt. Nice. You know things used to get from Holland Barrow. Yeah, but it's white chocolate. But it's, it's not white yogurt. Chocolate. Yeah, not it's yogurt. Yeah. so tasty. Yeah. We went out for a walk. It was freezing cold, and I've come back in, and I'm so warm. We've been trying to grab our little walks as and when we can, and we've ended up with another sort of later night um, evening walk. Just because it stopped raining, it's rained pretty much most of the day. We took Poppy out for a walk, then we went back out and just did like a mile or so just to get out and get some air. It's watching the football, Liverpool playing, and I'm having some studio time now. Um, oh, I tell you what, I did want to do. I wanted to grow my Christmas present. This was my secret Santa from our friends Sonia and Russ. And I left it at their house. I completely forgot about it. So our friend um, Russ dropped it back over to here today. And I'm going to do it with you now. And then I'm going to... I've just ordered my dad a birthday card on Moonpig. And then I need to edit tomorrow's vlog. I still haven't done it. I'm going to leave my desk. I was going to do some journaling. I'm not... What I'm really in the mood for is some Disney journaling. That's what I'm going to be doing. But um, first of all, let's go and grow this adult toy. By the way, the dinner was so, so tasty. Such a mix of flavours from like the sweet with adding the raisins and the cinnamon. Then there's the spicy from the jalapenos that I put in the sauce. Um, the sour cream so you've got a little bit of the coolness. And then you've got the lovely fragrant, uh, fragrant flavours of like the coriander and the cumin it was just so delicious such a sweet and spicy meal it was just so so good i will leave the uh, recipes down below i always adapt them you know what i'm like i sort of like change bits and pieces just to suit what we've got in the house but i would highly recommend it and aid even like the couscous so that was a win um anyway let's go and grow an adult toy by the way, I'm trying to remember to wear my glasses a lot more. My eyesight has become so, so bad and is, oh, sorry, the adult toy's in the way, and is getting increasingly bad and I can't actually see my phone anymore. It really upsets me. Um, so I've just got to remember to keep carrying my glasses around, but I need them for the instructions right now. So this is what I've got. This was my secret Santa and it comes with the instructions a little compost pellet, my little thingy so I can grow uh, right aubergine on it, one seed and a little um, like, I don't know what you call that little bag thing, um, 
So first thing I need, it says, is a saucer. I think I'm gonna use a pickle jar lid. Anyway, I've got to submerge this in water for four minutes. This just completely took me by surprise. I just walked in and went, oh my goodness. Ooh, it looks really weird, doesn't it? All right, it says to leave for 10 minutes. So I've had my little timer out. I'm gonna set the timer now for 10 minutes. <laughs> it looks really, really funny. God, I'm such a child. 10 minutes is up. That looks about as large as it's going to get. It says to make a hole. Oh, it's quite solid actually. In the middle, about two centimeters deep and then place the seed in there. Let's put the seed, it's a bit like a um, sunflower seed, isn't it? Place that in there. Anyone else grown an aubergine before? Cover it up, it says. And then we have to place this inside the little white bag. And then it says to place on the um, saucer with water. It says to fold it under and leave it on a windowsill in the sunlight. So little aubergine, you can live there. There we go. Let me know if you've ever tried to grow an aubergine. And I shall keep you updated on the progress of that. I think I'm going to say goodnight now. Um, I don't think Disney um, knobs are going to get done today. Um, in all fairness, Aid's been working really hard on my accounts lately, ready to pass over to the accountant. Um, so I'm going to call it a day. I think we've had a nice day. It's been very cosy. Tomorrow it's going to be pretty much the same. Um, it's a few DIY bits I also want to get done. Um, Aid's promised me that <laughs> the knobs will get seen too. So I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow. We're making goulash as well. And I'm hoping we've had a charity bag through the door today. I'm hoping to get a good declutter done. So I may actually film that for Friday as well. So we'll see what happens. Who knows? But thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed hanging out with us today. I hope it's felt cosy. Let me know if it has. And let me know what you've been getting up to. And if you've ever grown an aubergine, I'd love to know. Any hints or tips with growing veg, let me know. I know it's the wrong time of year, but... I don't know, just thought I'd give it a go. But thank you very much and have an amazing week and I will see you on Friday. Lots of love, bye.